Modern politics is more than just policies. It's about the heart of our nation, our security, our democracy, our future. When Joe Biden speaks, he touches on the deep-seated fears we all share about where our country is headed. He stresses the need for stability, the preservation of our democratic norms, and the role of political institutions in safeguarding our way of life. Yet there's an underlying tension, an acknowledgement that fear-based rhetoric might be used to push these very ideals. The stakes are that high to you. Uh, I give you my word. I think that I mark my words. If he wins this nomination, I mean, excuse me, this election, watch what happens. It's a danger. He's a genuine danger to American security. Look, we're at an inflection point in world history. We really are. The decisions we make in the last three, four years, and the next three, four years are going to determine what the next six decades look like. And democracy is the key. And that's why I went down and made that speech at Johnson Center about the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is so out of whack, so out of whack. And so I propose that we limit the terms to 18 years. So it, anyway, there's little regard by the mega, mega Republicans for the political institutions. That's what holds this country together. That's what democracy is about. That's who we are as a nation. The contradictions within Joe Biden's actions are stark. While his administration's decisions, like the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan and the ongoing border crisis, have left many feeling vulnerable and questioning their safety, Biden's warnings about Trump being a danger to American security can feel like they're stoking the very fear he once urged us to avoid. This kind of rhetoric doesn't just fuel political division. It leaves many questioning the sincerity behind the message, sensing a disconnect between words and actions.